have to turn teams off. Okay. Chris, so I'm with Chris uh, from Veneto, uh, one of our employers. So I'll, I'll hand you over to Chris to introduce himself and tell you a bit about his company and how they approach apprenticeships. Okay, great. Cheers, John. No problem. Um, so yeah, so I, I'm Chris Taylor. Um, I'm currently employed as a HR officer um, and I've been working on, on the site that I'm working on um, for six years. Um, and I take the lead on pretty much all the apprenticeships for the site as well. So I work for a, a company called Venator. Um, a lot of people in, in Hartlepool know us as Tyoxide. Um, we've been under many names, um, but at, at the moment we are Venator. Um, and I'm based at the manufacturing site down in Hartlepool. Um, and what we do is we manufacture titanium dioxide, um, which is also known as white pigment. Um, so this white pigment pretty much goes into everything. Um, and one of our key grades that we make on the site is for coatings, um, so such as paint, um, both used domestically um, and industrial coatings as well. So to produce titanium dioxide or the white pigment, um, we use various techniques. Um, so throughout our process, for example, chemical and process engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical and instrument engineering. And with that in mind, we, we offer various apprenticeships. So we have um, process apprenticeships um, where the, the apprentices work as part of the operations team that are there to predominantly operate the plant and produce the white pigment. We also have apprentices in instrument and electrical. Um, and these guys are based in the, the maintenance team um, and, uh, and work alongside instrument and electrical technicians. Um, at the moment, we have seven apprentices um, that are at various stages of the apprenticeship. So we have five process apprentices and two instrument apprentices. Um, the five process apprentices are actually integrated into our shift team. So they're working alongside um, shift operations um, teams um, and have integrated themselves within the teams and are working through uh, their apprenticeship. When we recruit apprentices, um, what we generally do is we ask, um, so, so there'll be an advert that will go online um, and then we generally ask apprentices to send their CV as part of the application process. They'll then attend an interview and if they're successful at the interview stage, um, they would then go through th from there for their apprenticeship. What we're sort of looking for from, um, from individuals are, are proactive, proactive guys that are, you know, aspire to work in industry. Um, I've got a keen eye for problem solving and fault finding. Um, and that they're like the key attributes for successful apprentices. You know, students studying sciences, maths, engineering, design, subjects such as that, um, that that's the sort of, um, you know, studies and courses we're looking for. Yeah. In, in terms of, you know, the apprentices, so what, what they tend to do is, is they spend, you know, the first year in centre um, and then they'll move to site and they'll spend 18 to 24 months on site on the job training, following a training plan where they'll learn the core skills of the job. Um, they'll pick up various other supplementary skills, we call it. Um, a lot of our technicians um, or, you know, process technicians and maintenance technicians very much intertwine and use various maintenance techniques. So they're sort of the other supplementary skills that the apprentices are likely to pick up. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, have, we have a high success rate of apprentices. So when I say success rate, these are, these are apprentices that have gone through their year in industry, spend their 18 to 24 months on the site, and at the end of that time, pass their assessment and become um, staff, so become associates uh, with Venator. So we have various guys that have become process technicians, um, and that have become instrument and electrical technicians. Um, so it's, you know, the opportunities are pretty endless. Um, once you once you get in, get an apprenticeship, um, we've got various guys that have, you know, really grown through the through the business um, into to leadership roles or gone down a, a different route of, of further education. Um, but I suppose the apprenticeship is like the base foundation of mm -hmm. their learning. 
um, that takes them to the next step of their career.